Hey guys, it's Marilene, Delicious Delights, and welcome to my channel. Today I want to do some sniffing with you guys. I have a discovery set from the House of Teo Cabanel here. The uh, new perfumes that they just released, there's three of them, looked really interesting and especially one of them really jumped out at me. So yeah, it comes in this really cute little um, pouch here that I think is really nice. Uh, the discovery set is also very affordable too. So um, I picked one up and I want to test these guys with you. Let me just see here. So I said there's three fragrances. There's one called Je Ne Sais Quoi. And that one is the one that I was most excited about. That was a, um, a tea scent, a Genmaicha or Genmaicha. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. And then the second one is called Ooh La La. And that one's a sandalwood perfume. And then the third one is called Tre French. Um, and that one has Lily of the Valley and Crunchy Pear. So yeah, the first one, the, the tea one and the uh, Lily of the Valley one um, are the ones that I was most interested in. So let's give them a try. I have tried them one time, you guys. So these are just my first impressions. They come with a lot of samples. I'm pretty sure the whole entire house is in this set. Oh, this is another one that I wanted to try. This is Cafe Cabanel. This one apparently is a, um, a coffee scent. So I'll put that one aside. And let's try the Lily of the Valley one first. Très French. Top notes, crunchy pear and peony. Uh, middle notes are Lily of the Valley, Sambac, Jasmine, Crystal Clear notes, whatever that means. And uh, base notes, Sandalwood, Benzoin, Vetiver, Haiti, and White Musks. So, I have tried this on my skin once, you guys. And Trey French is a nice perfume. So the first thing that I get is, of course, the Lily of the Valley Lily of the Valley for the longest time wasn't my favorite note until I fell in love with um, Guerlain Idyll. Love that one. So that's like my holy grail, Lily of the Valley. But this one is a really nice Lily of the Valley as well. For me, when I wore it the first time, I didn't like get so much pear out of it, but I got the wateriness of pear, like a juicy pear and a really nice fruity sweetness as well. Um, but for me, this one is Lily of the Valley all the way, that's the star of the show, with some sweetness, a green sweetness that reminds me of like a pond that's very watery, crystal clear, and like some juicy ripe pears floating in this pond. Yeah, I really like this. <laughs> I'm not sure if I like it more than the Edel by Guerlain. I'd have to test them side by side. But if you're in the market for a Lily of the Valley scent that's very crisp, clean. Also, when I wore it on my skin, um, it was very strong on me. I was quite surprised because I was thinking something more transparent and light. But for the first hour, it was like projecting. I'm like, okay, <laughs> that was nice, a uh, nice surprise. So yeah, I like this one, Trey French. Mm, very floral, reminds me of spring, reminds me of a clear water pond with some crunchy pears in it. Maybe some grass as well. Very green fragrance and really refreshing and I like it. <laughs> so that was the first one, Trey French. Now let's move on to the second one here. This one is Ooh La La. Top notes, hazelnut and saffron. Middle notes, tobacco and iris. And base notes, tonka bean, sandalwood and white musks. So that sounds really nice. Based on the notes, it sounds like something I would like. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, this is really nice too. I definitely pick up on the iris right away. Iris and the woods too. Is there woods in here? Uh, yeah, sandalwood though. <laughs> so yeah, iris is dominant on the first sniff on this paper. 
and then a really nice woodiness that isn't too heavy or too dark. And also I'm picking up some sweetness. Yeah, like a nuttiness too, so that hazelnut is there too. I mean, I have nothing bad to say with this. I've only worn it one time, but I did enjoy it. I got a little bit of spiciness in here too, when it dried down. But yeah, really nice, fluffy iris, sandalwood, a little bit of sweetness coming from somewhere, a little bit of spiciness too. It's kind of fresh to me too. It's not like a heavy, warm scent and like just based on the notes, it looks like that it would be with tobacco, iris, saffron. But no, for me, it's quite like a fresh woodiness that isn't too heavy, definitely something for a man or a woman, unisex, well, all of these fragrances are. But yeah, I like this one too. <laughs> so that's Ooh La La by, yeah, Teo Cabanel. These cute little boxes here, they come in 1.7 mils. Very, very nice presentation for the Discovery set. Now let's move on to the one that I was ex uh, most excited to try. And this one is the reason why I ordered this discovery set. This one's called Je ne sais quoi. What does that mean? Um, I don't... I, I think I feel like I should know what it means. <laughs> and I did at one point, but now I don't. So it says Addictive Gen Maitre. Notes in this one. These are all eau de parfums, by the way. So the notes in this one, top notes, puffed rice. Uh, middle notes are mate, violet leaf, and matcha tea. And base notes are gayak wood, tolu balm, vetiver haiti, and sandalwood. Yeah. <laughs> wow, it's very ricey in the opening. Like you smelled like, you smell, well I smell steamed rice. And I have drank a lot of genmaicha tea because i'm a tea lover like i am obsessed with tea and yeah it does smell like uh, a cup of tea a green good can't even say it, genmaicha or genmaicha i know i'm probably saying that wrong but it smells like steeping that with a little bit of saltiness coming from somewhere so steeping genmaicha tea very hot and warm ricey it smells like steamed rice it also has this grainy kind of scent maybe like uh like bread or something <laughs> and so i'm picturing like having a meal well part of your meal with the the tea and like a side of like fresh warm bread really really nice you guys very um realistic smelling as to what that genmaicha tea smells like and matcha as well yeah i get that here too i really like the opening a lot when i wore this the one time as it dried down it did kind of lose that graininess that uh, that baked bread feeling to it um but again these are just my first impressions you guys i really enjoy it it's not there's like a little bit of saltiness and a little bit of sweetness but not overly so. Yeah, it's also very, very nice perfume. I'm in love with tea scents right now, and this is just perfect for feeling warm, cozy, and if you really want to smell like matcha tea or genmaicha tea and steamed rice, uh, this is one to try. So this is Je ne sais quoi. Lovely scent. I really honestly like all of these. Okay. So let's sniff one more from this house. There's like so many other ones, you guys. Let me show you guys what I got here. It's like a lot of samples. <laughs> so I'm going to test those, you know, at a different time. But I was also very curious about this one called Cafe Cabanel. Top notes, tangerine, coffee, and cinnamon. Middle notes are rose, heliotrope, milky, and buttered notes. And base notes are vanilla, tonka bean, caramel, sandalwood, and musks. It's a nice scent too. Although, it kind of smells like to me, not like 
um, like fresh coffee beans. It more for me, it smells more like um, like a, a latte, like a caramel latte. Is that what you call it? Caramel latte. <laughs> so you have your, your coffee and then there's milk, frothy milk in it. And also some cinnamon sprinkled on top. Maybe also some nutmeg as well. So you'll get this really nice warm cup of, of like cappuccino almost. I don't find this perfume very sweet though. Although there are sweet notes, I do get some sweetness. But um, yeah, it's more like a spicy sweetness that gives a very nice, warm, cozy, comfy feeling. Um, it's not very heavy either. And again, I just wore this one time. But when I did wear it, I really enjoyed it too. And if I remember correctly, the perfumer of this is Cecile Zerokian, who... Um, hmm... I've tested some other fragrances that she has made and she does for me from what I've noticed about her work is that she does a really nice spicy scent so uh, for example she did Remember Me by um, from the House of Javoy and she, that was a really nice spicy warm chai tea that was really nice and she also did another fragrance that I own let me just grab it just give me a sec Okay, so she also did this fragrance from the House of MDCI. And this is called Lay's Indies Galant, which is also a beautiful, warm, spicy cinnamon fragrance, cinnamon orange. And it, it still it also has a nice, like cozy, comfy feeling. And um, I think she's also done Cache Noir. If I remember correctly, <laughs> Cache Noir by Olfativo Laboratorio. I'm probably butchering that. But that one also has a very nice, like, enveloping blanket of warm coziness. So, and yeah, it's something to test for sure if you're into coffee gourmands. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I think I found my Holy Grail coffee gourmand, and that's probably Kerosene Follow. Um, still on my wish list <laughs> but this one was really a nice one too to test especially if you like those other perfumes that I mentioned that she's made the Remember Me by Javoy the um, Les Indies Galant by MDCI and uh, I forget now <laughs> but yeah maybe that's something also for you to test out so that was my video on the Teo Cabanel perfumes their new releases and also the a coffee scent. I think this is their also uh, one of their newer releases as well. Um, if you guys have tried stuff from this line, let me know in the comments your opinions on them. And thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.